All right, good morning, cyber friend. This is Mitty Man, again, coming at you from Walk Studio here. I'm back in Studio B. And we want to say good morning, you know, top of the morning uh, to all the cyber friend in a, in a circle of friends. We uh, give y'all your honor. We hope that all of you doing very well. Come to you this morning to, uh, is an update from on the last live uh, live broadcast I did um, saying that we uh, give God the thanks and for life, health, and strength for as well as it is and uh, the old mini man is getting ready here now this morning we uh, got to get on out to the check on these old eyes and everything and got to get an eye doctor visit and everything it's supposed to be my last injection on the left eye, you know, Mitty Man is glad of that, and I'm hoping that that will remain the same. This will be the last eye injection of the left eye, so I can start monitoring the both eyes. And so we giving God all the praise for that. And I just wanted to come back and uh, let's just say here, uh, matter of fact, I don't know if I just had to say a, a, a few things. Uh, I don't want to say much this morning. I just want to just say that how grateful and thankful I am that for, for, for as well as it is and to say that what we need to look at is that we need to do good in spite of. Do good anyhow. Do good when it's, when, when, do good even when doing bad seems like to be the best choice. Many man speaking that on that wide this morning. I'm saying this because of the fact that when you when you have been truly born again, that doesn't mean that you are immune from doing wrong every now and then. That doesn't mean that you are immune from Satan attacks. That doesn't mean that you are you are immune from lies and scandals and backstabbing and backbiting. That doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that when you are born again that you have become immune to this system. <clears throat> no, 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 ma'am, no, sir. That that is that's a negative. But this is what it means. At least this is what many man. This is my take on. Now, that might be many opinions. Many people might feel different. That's good because everybody don't have the same head. So everybody don't think alike anyway. But <clears throat> it's one thing that I always tell people. Facts and truth, they are two different things. Facts and truth. Now, my brothers and sisters, it's a fact that today, we are alive. That's a fact. If you are listening to this video or watching this video, I should say, listening to my voice, and, and, and just to show us I'm sitting here doing this video, and if you going to hear it just a few more minutes when I upload it to YouTube or whatnot, if we are, it's a known fact that we are alive right now. That's a fact. But, but, let us, let us, let us go. That may not be a fact 50 years from now. You hear what I said? That may not be a fact 50 years from now. But now facts, so therefore facts change. Facts change. But guess what? Truth remains the same. Truth never changes. Jesus said, I am the truth and the light. No man coming to the Father but by me. Now, my brothers and sisters, I just want to be honest with y'all now. When we become born again, this is what happens, in my opinion. I feel that the, the nature and the, the seed of Christ is implanted. The fruit of the Spirit. All nine is implanted. In us is planted. The seed is planted. But we have to grow to them.
for them to manifest. Mitty man, what you talking about? Well, I want to be able to be just like Christ. That is the goal I feel to every believer. If you have been born again, your ultimate goal is to become like Christ. That's what that's what God will for our lives is. Be, read your Bible, people. Study your Bible. God's will for each and every one of us believers is for us to become more like his son. That's what it, that's 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 the whole purpose. So therefore, when we fall short, we feel so bad. If we are truly born again, we we feel we feel we we get sometimes we get discouraged. We 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 say, well, why in the world this keep happening to me? I'm I'm yet trying to do the reason why you feel that way is because of the fact that, that God has implanted God has planted that seed in you that you want to do right. In other words, <clears throat> when you become born again, your spirit has become brand new. And it is the place where God resides now that you have been born again. God had to clean that up totally before he could come and live in with you because he cannot dwell in an unclean place. So the spirit, our spirit, is the only thing that has been cleaned up. But guess what? The body and the soul got to catch up. You see, people, this is why a, a person that been born again, don't push them. Don't keep on pushing people buttons because you're going to mess around and you're going to press the wrong button. They are born again, but they are still human. They, that, whatever. Now, see, if I, have, if I had a problem with anger, if I had a problem with my temper, which I did, and it is still there, that dead man is still living there. Now, you can wake him up, believe it. You can resurrect that dead man. But we try to keep that old flesh dead and buried. We try to do it because we are trying to become more like Christ. This how come the Apostle Paul told the Romans in Romans 12 that you must renew your mind. You got to renew your mind, people. We, this is how come you cannot, you cannot keep the same confidence that you used to keep. When you was out there in the world, I was out there. All of us at one time done been out there. You ain't condemning nobody, and you ain't supposed to go back and judge people. But this is the process. You cannot continue to do the same thing that you were doing if you want to be free. Now, if you don't want to be free, go right ahead. But the whole purpose, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. He didn't come to dance with it. You understand what I'm saying? Jesus didn't come to play with the devil. He came to destroy the works of the devil. Now, what I mean by that, meaning this, whatever that is that keep you on the bondage, whatever that is that keep you, your, your spirit vexed and, 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 and causes you to keep falling down, you need to get away from that and in a hurry. This is what you're growing away from. That is the process, people. That's all that is. That's the process. And you you must do it by renewing your mind. I remember when I stopped drinking, it wasn't me to stop. I had to but first I had to want to stop my own self. I had to want it. I had to desire it. And then God came and did what I couldn't do for myself. But it was me first. I had to make a quality decision that I was tired of the alcohol. Then God came and did a work in my life that I could not do for myself. But now let me tell you what. Let me tell you about the renewing of the mind. For a long time, there were certain places that I used to go and get my liquor and drink my with my buddies and everything. That was a that was a process of a long period of time before I was able to go back to that situation. Oh, yeah, I still loved my friends. Yes, I still love them to this day. I kept them. They, they, they are my friends. They still are my friends. I got a couple of them done passed and gone. But nevertheless, they were still my friends. 
But at that particular time, while I was in the renewing of the mind process, I had to stay away from them old places that I used to go. Because if I had not stayed away from the new places while my mind was being renewed, I would have fell right back into the drinking. It, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have been set free from the drinking. So therefore, it was months before I went back in that environment. After I gained some strength, after I gained some strength, and after I had been renewed in the mind to a degree, I was able then to go back and I could sit with my buddies in the same place that I used to drink with my liquor jar with them. I could sit there this time and it wouldn't even bother me that they were drinking. And I didn't touch a drop. But now, was I wrong for being there? Of course not. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there fellowshipping with my buddies, just like I always have. But it was one different. I was not drinking at that time. And see, that is the beauty. That's the beauty of it. And see, people, that's what I'm trying to say to all of us. We don't start trying to act like we are so much better than the people that are yet in the world. Remember yourself. You was once there too. In other words, uh, I, I hate to see men talk about other men when they drinking or got caught up in any kind of thing, whether it be drugs or whatever it might be, when we used to be in that same boat as well. Women talking about other women, prostitution and all the like of that, and then they want to have be judgmental on them. Well, look, you once was something yourself also. Don't don't get down on people like that. You shouldn't do that. I don't I don't feel it's right. And see, God has not got off his throne and made me a judge. He didn't tell me to run nothing. And he ain't told you to run nothing. So leave people alone and let God do what he do. Let God do what he do. In other words, you, you stop trying to do run the universe because God didn't give you that privilege. He did not make you the universal God where you can go around and, and point your finger and beat other people over the head for what they done. Because if you can remember, if you want to do that, then you must beat your own self over the head. Because we once all was in darkness. And even now, we are children of the light. We have come out of darkness. But don't forget, we are work. We are a work in progress. You ain't made it yet. And see, that is that is the danger with a lot of us. We think when we dealing with other people, we look at other people through through the stained, dark stained glass. But when we look at our own self, we put on rose colored glass. We we that's 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 the danger now with us. We done got to the place now. Oh, we we can't stand to be in this place. We can't, we can't do, now we Jesus Christ Jr. We can do, we, we, oh Lord, we just need to cut it out. We need to cut it out, people. And, um, and let us let's go back to the basic and realize that without Christ, ain't none of us nothing, period. And uh, you is just one step away from being back where you used to be if it wasn't for the grace of God. And I'm the same way. So let us just remember that. Let us remember that. Let us remember we are a work in progress trying to make it the best we know how to please our Heavenly Father. And, it, and the way we please Him is to, to try to become more like His Son. That's it. Point blank. This is me, the man. Y'all pray for me, the man. We got to get on out of here pretty soon. Like I said, we're going on. We got to go to the OI doctor and we're going to get that done if the Lord say so. Hopefully, like I said, we'll do it quick, fast, and in a hurry, and I can get back and try to get back and do what I do. Get on this keyboard or something back here. I don't know. I got a, I got quite a few things I need to get done, but y'all just pray for me, the man, me, the man, going to continue to pray for y'all. And then to the next video, next Bible study, whichever comes first, just me, the man, say peace and good morning.